What's up, everybody? It's Bill from High Volume Games, and welcome to another episode of Bill's Day Off. So, uh, this is day two of the Bill's Day Off Blitz, uh, where we're still at the Hampton Inn. Uh, if you've watched a previous couple videos, you've seen us there. Uh, still not kicked out. Uh, <laughs> although, I don't know if housekeeping's going to barge in at some point. Uh, <laughs> but... We're here, uh, we're still going to try to get a couple more games in, and yeah, um, it's been a fun, fun little time, uh, gotta go back to work, um, we, as I check out of here Monday morning, headed right to work, gonna get an Uber to work, uh, so we're gonna make the most out of today, um, so what we are playing today, as you can see on our screen, uh, is Demo Derby smashed out from Play Now Games. Play Now. Um, so, got an interesting history with this one. Um, this used to be the this game has been around for a while, but it used to be the Black Friday. You could only get it that day, the exclusive Black Friday game. Um, so I picked it up a while back. Never played it. Just it just you know stood in the the shadows. And then I bought it on Play Now, and actually didn't play it then either. Uh, again, just uh, sat behind some other games. Um, so I took this game with me for my first ever board game weekend at a hotel, you know, right around the start of COVID. Um, and uh, so um, I brought all my Play Now games because, I mean, look at the size of this box. You can easily fit three of these in your backpack, three, maybe even four. Um, so I that weekend I learned how I sat there and learned how to play a couple of games from that I hadn't played yet and um, that was this was one of them and I felt so upset with myself that I had let this game sit for a lot so long because it's so good and <laughs> um, since then I've been playing a bunch of derbies with this uh, because I just think it's such a fun game and. So what we're going to do today is I have the cards from the older set from the from the original game, um, and I'm going to um, we're going to this is what I call the Northeast Division. I there were 48 cards, so I set four divisions of 12 uh, based off of where they're located. So this is the Northeast Division. We're going to have a uh, demo derby at the Rehoboth Fair. The Rehoboth Fair was a fair when I was growing up, 80s, 90s, uh, just down the road here, just uh, down Route 44. Um, and, you know, they had demo derbies and stuff, so well, we're going we're gonna to go back in our time machine and go to the fair, uh, get some cotton candy and popcorn, and go on some rides, and then go watch the derby. So I have everybody set up. I actually, I won't lie, I just, uh, this is take two. Uh, in take one, the air conditioning unit went on, and I also wanted to read a rule. So <laughs> this is take two. So the cards are actually out and ready. Uh, we have Mark Bland from Dayton, Ohio, Chris Boggs from Pearson Grove, Delaware, Gary Busher from Buffalo, New York. Jason Elder from Waterville, Vermont. Uh, Scott Haley from Chester, Maine. Chuck Kendrick from Egg Harbor, New Jersey. Jeff O'Dell from Holgate, Maryland. Jimmy Mayfield from Old Seabrook, Connecticut. It's going to be really hard just because I'm a NASCAR fan to not call him Jeremy Mayfield. Um, <laughs> Paul Newell from East Kessport, Pennsylvania. Rich Rankin from Springfield, Mass. He's representing us, Mass. Choose to people. Uh, Kevin Rouse from Woonsocket, Rhode Island, and Mike Shea from Benton, New Hampshire. Yes. Okay, so the goal in this, now everybody's got a car. Uh, now the e the East Division people, the East, Northeast and Southeast, will be running 70s cars, while the West will be running 60s cars. Um, so everybody's got a car. Uh, which are these cards here, and then they have their... So your goal is to get your opponent to have seven, either seven external damage or six internal damage. Now to get that, you roll your die, 
and whatever code comes up, there, let me use Mark as an example. This looks like a bunch of symbols, but they all tell a story. Um, so X means uh, external damage on your opponent. O means external damage on you. Um, yes, you can cause damage to yourself when you if you don't hit that guy the right way. Uh, exclamation point means internal damage to your opponent. Uh, question mark means internal damage to you. And the most burst symbols mean the burst means uh, to the person with the most damage and the star means to the person with the least damage. So we are going to, and there's there's ND, which means no damage. Uh, and if you get car or skid, we check these charts here. Now, because this is the first, uh, this is the first derby that the Northeast is going to run, we're going to use the, everybody's going to be a C rating for today. So we're going to, you know, as you see, everybody is placed in four, uh, they, they were shuffled and placed into four spots. Think of it as different parts of the track. And by the way, look at this beautiful uh, uh, mat that is also for purchase on Play Now. Uh, you used to just play on a table, uh, but it looks so much nicer. It looks like you're on the on the track. Uh, so here we go. So we're going to pull our first three. We got Mark Bland. We got Kevin Rouse. And we got Jimmy Mayfield. So we're going to roll for our first one. You go one, two, three. We're going to roll. So we got a four or five for Mark Bland. He's going to skid off the bat. He went for his move, his safe strafe. And he got the skid chart. So we're going to check the skid chart here. We're going to just roll one die. He's a C. And it's a three. So he's going to cause some internal damage to himself. So he, he went for a hit, skidded, maybe hit the wall. And Mark's got his first damage on himself. Uh, Kevin Rouse goes 2-2. Two, two. Oh, yeah, Kevin Rouse is over here. 2-2, uh, two, two, so he's going to hit XX on either uh, person. So we'll roll 1, 2, 3 for Mark, 4, 5, 6 for Jeremy. And he's going to get it on Mark Bland. So two Xs. So you get seven external, so Mark's already got three. And Jimmy Mayfield. And Jimmy's going to roll a 2-2. Two, two. And that is an X on the least, uh, the person with the least damage. So that'll be Kevin. So Mark tried an attack and spun. Let's get in. Kevin hit Mark. Jimmy came over and hit Kevin. And there's your move. There's your first set. So we go. We got Paul Newell. We got Rich Rankin. We got Mike Shea. Okay, so Paul rolls a 4, 6. And a 4, 6 is a skid. So he's going to skid. Now he throws a 5, which is a stall. So he's going to get a stall card. Which means the next time he rolls, he has to get an odd. Or if he rolls an odd, this car stays stalled. If he rolls an even, he can come back and play. So that was Paul. So Rich Rankin, so he's stuck in the mud right now. Rich Rankin uh, rolls a 4 5. And he's going to skid. Uh oh. But he's going to get a 2, and a 2 just means nothing. So he lucked out, missed everything. Uh, Mike Shea. Uh, Mike Shea's going to roll a 6-4, which is an XO to the least amount of, to the person with the least amount of damage. Uh, that is actually both of them, so we'll roll. It's 2, so he'll hit Paul, who's stuck in the mud. Uh, <laughs> he'll hit him for an X, but he also gives himself a damage. And they're going to go. Now, each car has a bonus. Um, a lot of them are 
uh, you know, get an extra extra damage, or uh, maybe your car gets a little is a little stronger or something like that. Um, you can choose when to use it. Um, so you can do it early. You can do it later. Most of the time, you use it later. So we have Jeff Odell, we have Chris Boggs, and we have Gary Boucher. So Jeff goes 4-4. Four, four. Okay, there he is. A skid. But it's a 2, so he's okay. Chris Bogg is 2-3. 2-3 is no damage, which means he cannot get hit. So if Gary hits a damage and even asks... Um, uh, what happens? He won't give. He won't be able to get hit till his next turn. So even if the next roll, say he's the third guy, he can't get hit. So Gary's gonna go up against Jeff basically. That's two five. Gary's two five is an X exclamation point question mark. And to the to the person with the most, but. They're both even, and one has no damage, so it goes to Jeff Odell. So Jeff is going to get an X. But now it's internal damage, so we're going to take our our famous chips. Red chips in a, in a play game does not bode well for whoever has them, either it be golf or uh, I use them in uh, red, white, and blue for lap down cars. Uh, so we have to roll because each of them are going to have an internal damage. So we're going to have to roll. I'll put black for Jeff and white for Gary. So it'll be Jeff's five, which unfortunately for him is all no damage. Like it was a more of a defense. So he's not going to be giving away. And Gary's four. So now they can't use those if we were rolling... Uh, if we were going to roll that, they won't be able to use that. In our last round one is Scott Haley, Chuck Hendrick, and Jason Elder. Scott rolls a 2-1, which is a car check. Now, he's a He's got no damage, so this is good. Uh, the more, when you're doing the car damage, uh, you can actually cause a lot of, or if you've got a, a lot of damage, you can get stalled or your engine or something. But he's got five chances out of six to get a damage on someone. And he rolls a three, so he's got it. Uh, he's going to roll to see which person he gets it. And he's going to give it to Chuck Kendrick. So one X on Chuck Kendrick. Uh, Chuck's going to come back with a 3-4, which is an X on the person with the least amount. They both have it. And it's going to go to Jason Elder. And Jason's going to roll a 1-2. This is a big hit. It's going to go on to Scott Haley because it's, it's going to go to the least, but it's an XXO to the least. So Scott's going to get two shots. And he's going to get an O, though, so he'll be at two. So there we go. That's how you play a turn of Demo Derby Showdown. Now, it's slow right now because nobody had any damage, nobody has any uh, internal issues, stuff like that. So, But as we get further and further, you're going to see eliminations, you're going to see people using bonuses. So let's get into it. Once we get down... There'll be there'll be some rows with two, some rows with four. Okay. So you have Jimmy Mayfield's gonna lead us off. And Kevin Rouse and Mark Bland. Mike Shea, Chuck Hendrick, Jason Elder, Rich Rankin, Paul Newell, Scott Haley. Gary Boucher, 
Now, Chris Boggs was the one with no damage. He's going to still won't, he'll get to avoid damage when Gary Boucher rolls. So Jeff Odell is going to be in trouble. Uh, Jimmy Mayfield first. And he rolls a 5-3, which is no damage. So he's set for a minute. Kevin Rouse. Now, Kevin Rouse, if he puts any sort of hit, he might want to use his bonus because Mark's already got three, and his uh, he'll end up getting two external with a bonus. So if he gets any sort of bonus or any sort of hit on him, he might want to use it. Uh, he's going to roll a 5-1. Oh, he's over there. Oh, it's a car check. Now, he's only got one damage, so he's got a pretty good... And it's a two, so he's going to get a hit. So I think he's going to use his bonus here. Because what happens is, now he's going to give two external damage to two. And now he's got six. But he has to give himself an, an internal damage, but... Which, so he won't be able to use five again. But now, I mean, if, say, Mark, Mark's going to take his shot at Kevin, what if he hits an O? If he hits an O, he's out. He eliminated basically himself. So, uh, <laughs> and he, so Mark rolls a one three, and it's a skid. Ooh. Like, might have lucked out. That's the second time he's skidded, by the way. Uh, he rolls a three, and he gets an O. So he actually wipes himself out. So see, Kevin's move was beautifully made. Mark Bland, our first eliminated person in 12th place. All right, so we're down to 11. All right, Mike Shea. Uh, Mike Shea is going to go 2-1 here, which is an XO exclamation point to the person with the most. So that's actually Jason Elder. So he's going to go X. He's going to give himself an O. He's going to exclamation point. 3. Uh, so he takes Jason Elder's 3. I feel like I don't know. He could do a double damage on him. Uh, or he's got the thing for XX, but that'll get him to five. It won't do as much. Uh, Chuck Kendrick. Uh, Chuck Kendrick goes 2-1, which is triple X to the person with the most. So he's going to put three on Elder, and he could use that XX question mark to eliminate him, but, you know, Elder's not going to, Elder's, he's got one, he's got three, it's not worth it. Elder's probably going to be eliminated, maybe even on this roll. Uh, Elder rolls two, three, and no, it's going to be an X to the person with the most damage, which is actually Shay. So the, so Elder's still in, but not by much. Uh -huh. All right, Rich Rankin, no damage yet. Uh, he's going to 2-5. He's going to go XXXO on somebody. And he's also got a huge so uh, thing where it's an X exclamation point question mark. So he might use that if it comes to Scott Haley. And it goes, and it goes to Paul Newell, so he'll just go X, X, X. Oh. On him. If he used it, he would throw a fifth damage on Paul Newell. Um, however, if it had been him, it would have been that would have actually been six. <laughs> so Paul Newell, not happy. I'm going to roll a six five. Oh, and he's actually the person who stalled. And he, so the six there is actually going to get him back out. So he rolls a 2-6, which is just an 
X damage to somebody. And it's going to be on Scott Haley. Now Scott Haley's going to roll. Uh, Scott Haley rolls a 3-1, which is X, X, O to the person with the most. So X and O. So he has an interesting, unusual result at the end of a turn. So let's use it now. People will say, what are you thinking? Showdown. Winner increases, driver's grade, loser uh, decreases. So we're going to use the showdown chart here. We're going to first pick who he's going up against. It's three, so it'll be Rich Rankin. They're both C's. It really wouldn't matter. But he has to roll a 46 or less. And he rolls a 34, so he's going to win. Uh... He's going to win the showdown. I really feel like I should turn lights on. I don't know. <laughs> he's going to win, so he's now... Scott Haley's going to be a B. And the reason that means something is the, the, the skid chart. He's now going to be able to hold that... Now he's got a, a 1 or a 2 will get damaged, and a 3 will give nothing. And Richard Hankin's going to drop to a D, which is really going to hurt him if he skids. Okay. So this group is done. All right, Gary Boucher can only hit Jeff Odell. And Gary, with a 2-4, goes X-O, exclamation, exclamation point. X, O, and then two exclamation points to Jeff Odell, who already has one. And it's one and six. So he's going to lose. He's at three of internal damage already. Oh, now, over to Chris Boggs. He can be hit again. Uh, Chris Boggs goes two, six, which is an X and an O. Who does he go with the X against, though? Uh, to Jeff Odell. O, o to him. He could use his double damage, like his two Xs, but that would only give him five. And Odell can't do any move because he's got a red chip on the five. So there we go, that's round two. We've got our first elimination. And so we'll see. We know that Jimmy Mayfield is the person with no damage right now. So shall wait just in case. When I shuffle the cards, I don't want to lose who did it. Okay, round three. We've got Scott Haley, Rich Rankin, and Jason Elder. Ooh, Elder, going to have two people getting a shot in on him first. If he his bonus as a choice opponent driver loses turn, but he can't make that until the you know, so he would need to be the first guy on the list. Oh, and Jimmy Mayfield's going to actually get a free shot here because he's no damage in the pile of two. <laughs> so Scott Haley comes up. Four damage to him. And he's going to 3-3. Three, three. It's his car check. And, oh, unfortunately, with four, there's only one thing he can do. Uh, one roll. So he's going to have an engine. Um, so basically, now he's really in danger because a mechanical failure is about to occur. Every turn we roll a one, we roll a one die. If a die rolls one to six, the car has died. So he is in trouble. Not only is he now a sitting duck to the other two, but <laughs> he could be in trouble. Rich Rankin is here. 
Uh, Rankin's going to roll a 6-3, which is, oh no, this is an interesting hit. He goes, oh, oh, so he's going to give himself two damage, but give two external or internal damage to somebody. And it's the three, so he's going to get Scott Haley, who just has damage engine issues. Now he's going to lose this five and a six. And Jason Elder, hoping not to get an internal damage here, because he got six, or not to get an external, because he got six already. Uh, he rolls a four four. Um, which is just an X to the less person. So that's actually going to go to Rich Rankin. And th all three survive. I'm shocked. <laughs> Alright, Kevin Rouse. Already used his bonus. Uh, he's going to roll a 2-2. Two -two, which is double X on somebody. And it's to Ke Chuck Kendrick. So Kendrick to three. Uh, Mike Shea up. Uh, Mike Shea rolls a 5-2, which is X-O question mark to the person with the least. So X-O. And he's going to get a question mark, which means he's going to lose something. He'll lose number five, which is what he just rolled. And Chuck Kendrick... If Chuck were to put some damage on Mike J, I would actually probably use his bonus for 2x, because that would eliminate him. 3-2. Uh, 3-2 three, two. Uh, three, two is a skid. Oh. And it's a 4, so it's going to cause some damage to himself. Alright, Chris Boggs. Paul Newell sitting here with six. Uh, Chris Boggs with a 4-4. Four, four, which is a skid. Oh. And he gets the damage to himself. Alright, Paul Newell. He has a double and he internal damage to someone. So if he if he wished to put a hit on if he if he got a exclamation point on Jeff Odell, he should definitely use it because he would almost wipe Odell out. Uh, two four. So two four on Newell is a car check. And this is the guy with six damage. No <laughs> Oh, but he got an unusual result. This could, this could be great. Twenty-six. Oh no! Tangled with another car, smacked by thirds. Circle, circle, circle. Uh, question mark. It doesn't even matter. He's got freaking nine damage to him now. <laughs> so our tenth place competitor. No, our, yeah, our 11th place is Paul Newell. Our Pennsylvanian is out. All right, Jeff Odell, who may be lucky out now, uh, goes 2-4. He actually can do it. He'll get an X. So if he's... Even though he's internal, got a lot of internal damage, he's all right. So Gary Boucher can't do anything. Uh, can't cause damage. We roll him, though. 5-5 five, five is a skid. Nobody oh, wins. It would have been... So he doesn't hurt himself, but he can't give the damage that he would have gotten. Now, Jimmy Mayfield getting a free shot here. Goes 1-2... He's going to skid that side of the track. Oh, and it's a six, which means it's an unusual result. And it's 51. It's a showdown. He's going to go up against him. Again, has to roll a 46 since they're both Cs. The winner kills the opponent. So one of these guys is out.
15. Gary Boucher is out. Jimmy Mayfield just hits him square and puts him out. So Gary from Buffalo, New York is out in 10th place. So there we go. We got two uh, eliminations in that turn. And we could, or let's be honest, we could very well have a third, next elimination if Scott can't get his car going. We're down to nine. All right. Jeff Odell, Mike Shea, and Jimmy Mayfield was having a great game. He had no damage, plus he's got the bonus where his car is an eight external damage. Uh, Rich Rankin, Chris Boggs, and Kevin Routh, and in row three, Jason Elder, Chuck Hendrick, and Scott Haley. So Jeff Odell comes up. Where is Scott? Scott's the last one. Oh. He might luck out. Four six. For Jeff Odell. Jeff Odell can do four six, but he just hits himself with the worst card he could ever hit. Circle, circle, question mark, question mark. Which means he's gonna give himself two circles. And he's gonna give himself two question marks. He's already got all right, now, if I were to roll doubles here on his 1, 5, or 6, he'd actually be out, because it's 6 or 3 of the same. And I roll a 2, 5, so he's got now 5 external damage, or internal damage, and he's got 2 on the same one. So do these guys have any... Okay, they don't have anything for uh, external, for bo or for internal for bonus. So Mike Shea's going to roll a 5-3. He can't do anything, because the 5 is blocked. And Jimmy Mayfield rolls a 1-1. One, one. He's going to go XX, exclamation point, exclamation point on somebody. Uh, if he gets it on Odell, he eliminates him. He doesn't. He gets it on Shea. But X, X, and then exclamation point, exclamation point on Shea. And it's a 3-1, so he loses 1 and 3. So he's now got 6 and 3 internal. Uh, Odell has six, 5 and 5. <laughs> Meanwhile, our friend Mayfield doesn't have a single thing. Yeah. <laughs> Rich Rankin. Uh, Rankin rolls a 2-5. Uh, which is XXXO. Uh, plus, he gets this. That, we'll have to see what he's going to do. Because if it's Chris Boggs, I think he goes for his bonus. It is. So, XXXO. Oh, sorry. I was looking at the wrong card. Yeah, X, 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 O. So, 3 would give him 6, so if he uses his other one, he's going to, so, all right, so he's going to go X, 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 O, and he's going to use his bonus to get the 7 one. And he's going to, unfortunately, have a question mark because of that. Let's put, roll that, though. But it is, it's only his first, so. He might as well give himself a little internal damage to take out somebody. So, Chris Boggs from Pearson Grove, Delaware, is out in ninth place. So, Kevin Rouse comes up. He's already used his. Let me not do that. And Kevin Rouse is going to skid. He's going to skid. He's a C. Uh, but he's going to get a nice roll and give an, exter oh, an external damage to Rich. That's Rich's sixth. 
All right, Jason Elder. Uh, Jason Elder's going to 6-6. Six, six. He's going to, oh no, he's going to hit himself, basically. And he's going to eliminate himself because it's O-O oh, oh, question mark. And he's already got 6. So Jason Elder is out. He's an older from Waterville, Vermont. Is out in eighth place. So we're down to Chuck Hendrick and Scott Haley, who has the still roll with engine. Uh, Chuck Hendrick, 2 1. Triple X. It's over for Scott Haley. He doesn't even have to worry about the engine roll because he just got his seventh damage. So Scott Haley from Chester, Maine, finishes in seventh. So we're now to the final six. Half have made it. Half have been eliminated. Half are left. And some of them are, can we amazingly say that Jeff O'Dell, with his five internal damage, is still left. But this is looking like it's Jimmy Mayfield's day because he's got eight damage to that he still has available. Um, he has not been hit once. All right. So we roll, and it's Jeff Odell first. Hopefully, he doesn't get a question mark. Kevin Rouse. Chuck Kendrick, and in row two, Rich Rankin, Jimmy Mayfield, and Mike Silva. Jimmy Mayfield's in a group with two guys with six damage. All right, Jeff Odell, 1-5, can't move. Kevin. 1-1. Uh, uh, XX to the person with the most, so it's Jeff Odell, and he's going to eliminate him. Kevin Rouse eliminates Jeff Odell. So unfortunately, all these chips are going back. <laughs> but unfortunately, he wasn't able to hold on. But nice outing. Sixth place for Jeff Odell, our Maryland representative. Um, so Chuck Hendrick going to roll here. 6-4. Uh, it's XX question mark. Um, he's going to use his bonus too, so it's going to be 4X, but he's going to give himself two question marks. Um, and one, three. I mean, get Kevin, who was literally only with two, move him up to six. <laughs> Why not? Uh, Rich. Uh, Rich Rankin rolls a 4 6, which is an O to the person. Oh, oh. Yeah. It was hit by Mayfield. And unfortunately, Mayfield's going to eliminate him. So he goes to swing at Mayfield, and he hits himself, and he damages himself. So, Rich Rankin. From Springfield, Mass. Oh. Goes out in fifth place. See? No, no hometown love. We, we, whoever goes, goes. <laughs> Alright, Mayfield. 6-3. He's going to skid. Okay. And he's going to roll a six, so it's unusual result. Uh oh This could be great for him, bad for him, or who knows. Uh, and he rolls a 33. He's going to lose moves one, three, and five. Wow.
steering issues to cause Mayfield to be in some hurt. Uh, Mike Shea25, which is an XOO, which gives Mayfield some damage, but he's going to wipe himself out in the process. So Mike Shea is our fourth place finisher. The well, cool thing is, like, I don't have paper, so I'm not writing this down, but because I have the video, I can keep track <laughs> and give them some points later on. Usually what I do is I give the top six points and uh, any elimination. But So we're down to our final three. So what I would have said is if we got to the final four, you just put all four in a row, but now we don't shuffle anymore. This is the final ring. We'll just keep rotating out until we are done. So, Jimmy Mayfield is going to be first, Chuck Hendrick second, and Kevin Rouse third. Uh, Jimmy gets a 4-1. It's a car check. He's got one damage. But he rolls a 5 and is going to stall. Oh my. Kendrick. Kendrick rolls a 5-1. It's an X and two exclamation points to the person with the most, but that X is just going to do it. Kevin Rouse is out. Kevin Rouse, who the turn before looked like he was going to be the guy to take down Mayfield with only two damage, is now out in third place. One second, Rhode Island native. So there we go. We have we are down to our final two. Mayfield's got one damage. Chuck's got four. Uh, but Mayfield has three internal to Chuck's two. Mayfield is also stalled right now. Um, he gets out of the stall, though. Then rolls a 2-5. He's going to get a car. Again, one damage rolls the car and rolls an unusual result that didn't work from last time. 65, Zowie T-boned by the other car, red flag, to remove the driver from the eliminated car. He is, so that is it. He, what just happened? He T-boned, he was T-boned by Chuck Kendrick and the car is eliminated. What an amazing turn of events. You could not tell me after the, probably about round three that Jimmy, Jimmy Mayfield was not going to win, but an unusual result, and Jimmy Mayfield from Old Sabre, Connecticut, is out in second place. And that means that Chuck Kendrick from Egg Harbor, New Jersey, is our champion of the Rehoboth Fair Demo Derby. <laughs> what a finish. <laughs> that was fun. See, I love this game. I'm, I, I don't know. I just absolutely love this game. <laughs> I think because it's got that driving element that I love, you know, because RWB being my favorite game. Uh, it's got the driving element, but I just love the the whole back and forth. It's so good. So, if you haven't, if just a reminder, uh, this is Demo Derby Smashdown from Play Now. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below. Uh, definitely check it out. And again, thanks to everyone who's been watching. Hopefully, this hotel series has been <laughs> the hotel series of Bill's Day Off has been fun. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm probably going to let the earbuds charge a bit and then maybe go out, get a little snack, and then come back and do another video. All right, guys. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye.